Well, you know, I worked in the finance company. I was manager of a of the finance company downtown ah, Cleveland. And uh, the guy that worked for me, and he was a friend of mine, uh, was tired of the business, and he decided to start a collection agency. So I said, well, if you start it, I'll put some money in. They didn't have any money, and I got a, had a big desk, <laughs> a desk and a chair and some money. And uh, he said he was going around collecting money for these little merchants in Berea. And some of these guys, there was no credit cards in those days. There were no credit cards. So if a guy came in and he wanted to buy a couch at K Furniture, he wouldn't go over to the bank and borrow the money. K would say, oh, here, I'll put it on my books here and pay me so much a month. Well, so what? Uh, so he had K Furniture had a lot of people owing him money. And he was not a collector. So after they didn't pay him for a while, he'd turn these things over to Bruce, and Bruce would call him up and collect. Yeah. And uh, I'd help him. But in the meantime, in Berea, these guys, like your mother or other people, that they wanted to go shopping, they didn't shop in Berea because they had to have be paying these various merchants, arts men shop or whatever. But if they went to Cleveland and they went to Higby's, Higby's had a credit card. Taylor's had one. Halley's had one. He had an individual credit card for each company. So people were getting on the bus driving away from all the local businesses, going downtown Cleveland to buy a suit because they didn't have to pay right away, they just charge it. And so that's where we came up with, Shit, these people just don't know what credit is about. So I said, we're gonna have a charge a card and we're gonna work it out with the bank. And uh, I had the details worked out. We even designed the damn card. And I said, Bruce, you just go over to the bank here and I didn't do it because I was afraid. I had three kids, no, two kids, had a house payment and a nice little wife. And I'm not going to screw this up. By, so I said, you do this, uh, Bruce. And Bruce said, oh, yeah, I'll do it. But Bruce didn't do it because Bruce didn't have the will, the drive to do it. And I should have done it, but I was too involved of working like crazy in that business. When they gave me a new job there, I was replaced by three guys to just do my job. I smoked two packs of cigarettes a day. I bought a pack on the way in in the morning when I went out for lunch about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I bought another pack. It was a high-tension job, boy. So I didn't have time for doing this. And Bruce didn't have the will to do it or the capability to do it. He was what my dad used to call a luparsh. <laughs> Anyhow, they... What is a luparsh? <laughs> his... His arse kind of lups. <laughs> he wasn't a mover. And that's, but in the meantime, somebody out in California thought of this thing. And they started it with the uh, Bank of America card or something like that. And there was an article 10 years after that about the 400 people that had the most influence in, in the United States over business. And the one guy was the guy who started the credit card business. Of course, it's gone crazy all over the world. You know, If you don't have a credit card, you're nowhere. And he made millions of dollars. And uh, we made nothing. But I thought of it. And they started it and we designed it. And Don remembers my doing it.